Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Thanks for uh, tuning in. I've got a pretty special little uh, pink salmon fly pattern here. Uh, we called it Brad's Magic Pink Salmon Fly. And the reason for that is that it's it's one of those flies that we use with our uh, charter company, Permanent Fish Finder. Um, it's super duper simple. It's a guide fly. Super duper simple, but very effective. Um, you can tie them on a multitude of a, a few different size hooks. You can tie them on... Uh, I personally like using the size 6 or size 4 Mustad uh, streamer hooks, straight eye. I don't know if you can see that down there. I can bring it up to the top camera. Does that show up fairly clear there, cameraman? Yep. I'm a little shaky because uh, we've got into the coffee here. The cafe on the old uh, Keurig, and we were making some stiff brew, boys. I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen. But anyhow, we're gonna get down to tying this fly. Super simple, so it's not gonna take a long time. Um, because of that, I might tie a couple different variations uh, of this fly. But it's pretty pretty well the same basis. You start out with like a cactus chenille body, and then finish it off with some crystal flash. In pink but uh, let's go down to camera four we're gonna get started so this fly here I'll just leave it in the vise we'll give it a slow roll on camera four so we'll give it a slow roll super simple simple dimple but very very effective so that one was tied with a pink head I'm gonna tie it with a silver bead and that is a 316 bead Cyclops bead locker in our griffin vice griffin mongoose and we've got three aught chartreuse uni thread here and all i'm going to do here is just get a little bit of base down something for that chenille to kind of grit to and not move around so i'm not too worried what it looks like underneath because you're not going to see it but you don't want that chenille moving around on top of it so you're going to put it down fairly rough so it's got something to lock down onto. Cut off that tag in. We're going to take that uh, crystal flash. And this one is from Superfly. I'm not sure if that company's still in business or not, but that is the pink. Uh, I know Wofsy makes a few different, different patterns, different colors. And we've got it. So, Hairlines is called Crystal Flash, which is exactly the same. Uh, that one is the fluorescent Charisse. Very close. Everybody's got to call you right in the middle of it. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, that doesn't happen a second time. But, anyhow, so. All the products we're tying with today are all at Spud Valley Sporting Goods in sunny Pemberton at 1380 Birch Street, home of Pemberton Fish Finder and the team from Friday Night Flies. So lock that down off the back and we're going to cut about, a, about an inch and a bit off the back. Cut that off. Don't throw it away because you're going to use it for the rest of the fly here. Then we're going to go to... I've got the shrimp pink in a cactus chenille, but you can also use crystal chenille or uh, I know Wopsy makes, they call theirs pearl chenille. So this one here is FL pink. I've got the shrimp pink in uh, cactus chenille and then Superfly once again is called crystal chenille. They're all the same product. It's just one, one company calls it one thing and the next calls it another and wow, it's the greatest stuff since sliced bread. But anything, it's got a little bit of a flash in her and it makes real sexy bodies, especially for pinks. They really like that crystal chenille. Anything with a little bit of shimmer. So you're going to lock that down, give it a quick whip finish in behind the bead and bring your bobbin cradle over, lay your bobbin off. So there's a trick to laying chenille on a, on a body. So if you're right-handed and you wrap forward clockwise, when you're wrapping chenille, you've got to go clockwise as well. 
so you don't want to wrap on counterclockwise because when you're locking it down it's going to want to unravel so you go clockwise up the shaft all the way to the bead give it one extra rotation behind the bead just to help it stay all together pull your bobbin off the cradle and you go once in front wrap it around the chenille lock it in there a couple times they're pretty toothy fish and pink so you want to make sure that you're locking everything down real nice and tight cut that off you're gonna go back to your crystal chenille and we're just gonna use the same amount on the head right in behind that bead all right cut a little bit of those loose ends off right in behind that bead nice and tight couple wraps with your finger fold those little dud dud ends off it doesn't really matter they're not going to look perfect move that bead around and then when you're cutting this crystal chenille off i usually like to go just before the end of your tail cut it off lay that down nice and finish cleaning up the head whip finish right in behind that bead Pull her down, lock it down, nice and tight. Nice sharp scissors. Oh, I think I might have cut a little. Nope, perfect. And at that point, like we're saying, they're pretty toothy fish. So we're gonna take a little bit of the solar as bone dry, just to cover the threads up and make it look real pretty. Because hey, at the end of the day, you wanna be able to show, show your mom or your dad what you've done. You might as well have it looking real pretty. And then we use the solar as light, cure that guy. And ladies and gentlemen, you have got one of the deadliest pink salmon flies known to man. You can see how UV that is. Can you see that? It just looks like a big light flash. Just a big flash. It's all UV material we're using. So anyhow, we'll do that quicker. We'll do another one here real quick. Because that is about as easy a tie as you can get. We'll do this one, the next one, with a chartreuse bead, a 3 16 bead. Same hook. And today we're using a size 4 just for camera purposes. I prefer to use them, tie them on a size 6. The 4s work good too if you've got a little bit of cloudy water. But that's the hook we're using right there. It's got a straight shank, straight eye. And... Uh, what is it two extra heavy and uh, four extra long so same thing a little bit of chartreuse thread down on the hook you don't have to really worry about what it looks like because it's all going to be covered underneath that chenille cactus or crystal chenille cut off your tag end we're going to use Wopsy's product now and Wopsy calls these guys uh, the pearl chenille I got a little chunk of uh, crystal flash for the tail I'm going to tie that guy in on the butt never throw any of your crystal flash stuff away because eventually you'll get the chance to use it again and that so you can see it's pretty scraggly but you can it doesn't need to look perfect you're gonna have a couple scraggly ends no big deal at that point we're gonna go and grab that uh, pearl chenille by Wopsy we're gonna tie that in it's just a little bit different color than the last that we used there but it'll just show you how quick and easy these patterns are and then I'm gonna go all the way back up in behind the bead Throw a quick whip finish. Pull our cradle, bobbin cradle back. Spin it the vise clockwise. Working my way up. Filling that body. 
making it look nice and pretty so that might have been one too many you just want to kind of fill in behind that bead just so the bead doesn't want to slide back okay right in behind it locking it down a couple behind it a couple in front of it you don't want this bad boy moving around lock that guy off now we're going to go back over to our crystal chenille we're going to tuck that right in tight behind the bead clean it up a little bit and that'll make it a little easier for when you're cleaning your fly up at the end right tight behind the bead and clean it up behind that bead bingo just before the end of the tail same thing that fly is looking pretty sexy I have to say I really like that little bit of a chartreuse punch I usually get that chartreuse punch with the thread but uh, in my uh, my experience of guiding with for pink salmon I find a little bit of a contrast is all you need when it comes to them toothy little slimy guys pink salmon and usually what the contrast that we use is pink and chartreuse so that's pretty well done we're gonna go to the solar res make sure that we lock all those nice threads down those pinks are toothy little buggers super easy stuff to to manipulate if you find that you put it on a little thick on one side and a little thinner on the other side you can just simply rotate the vise until you get the look that you're looking for and at that point you lock it down with your uv light and boy is that bright yeah. Whoo, man see they say that fish see in uv and if that's the case that fly definitely takes a win for uv isn't that bright mm -hmm. that is amazing so anyhow we'll give this a slow roll we've given you a couple different variations of brad being myself brad's magic pink salmon fly it's a guide fly it's one that we use with our clients it's tried tested and true so you've got it there with a silver bead you got it there with the pink bead not sure which one you like best but they're all pretty close just a little bit different sometimes they want that pink bead sometimes they want that chartreuse bead anyhow we'll go back up to camera three that is your tip for the week uh, pink salmon are now starting to enter the creeks and rivers uh, on the Pacific Northwest coast um, if you guys are interested or ladies are interested in coming out and trying your luck with fly fishing uh, we like to call it the quick ticket to success or the fast track to success uh, we're pretty dialed in we, we're out there every day twice three times a day it doesn't take long to get in tune with what you're targeting and in that case we're going to sign out thanks for watching uh, Facebook we always uh, are interested in what you have to say and if you've got a pink salmon fly that's uh, a winning ticket for you please share it with us on our Facebook page at uh, Friday Night Flies on Facebook or our YouTube you can comment on YouTube or follow us on Instagram we're on Instagram at Friday Night Flies anyhow signing out thank you very much for watching Friday Night Flies would like to thank the following sponsors Superfly Solarez, Chinook Wind Outfitters Dr. Slick Griffin, don't be